Act One, Scene One, The Sea. Hi, Gaspar and Carlo. Hi, Lord Vico. You've been banished from Rome. What? But I'm an earl with followers. But you've committed sin by murdering people. Bracciano commits sin also by courting Vittoria. You're still banished, you murderous wretch. I'll get my revenge. Grr. Act one. Scene two, a room. Lord Bracciano, I have seduced Sanche and Vittoria loves you. Flamino, here comes her jealous lover Camillo. Hi everyone. Oh, well it's me. Vittorio no longer loves me. Yes, you shall be cuckolded and you are jealous, but I will help you win her back. Buongiorno, men! <laughs> you should love this idiot. Oh, how he praises me. I am sure to win her back. Oh, Bracciano, I love you. Marry me. Yes. I had a dream of you killing Camillo and Isabella. It was nice. Yeah, Coco, go die. <clears throat> Give me money, Cornelia. No, you don't deserve it. You cheated on your degree. Act one, scene three, a room. <clears throat> I want to fight. She's hot. How can you abandon Isabella? Victoria has no honour. I want to be a knight. And I'm Giovanni. <laughs> I'm divorcing you. Um, kill Isabella for me, Dr. Julio, please. And Camillo, too. A cold. What? I am sending you to with Marcello to kill the pirate Lodovico to punish you. Lodovico, Lodovico is in Padua and wishes to work for Isabella. Okay. Act two, scene two, a room. Conjurer, conjure me a show.
was jolly good. Can we have another one? Yeah. I wish. Oh. Wonderful. Scene three, part one, at court. So Victoria is a cuckold. Indeed, she should be sentenced by Monticelsco if she has a um, kiss to Bragiano. I am light-hearted to dispel suspicion. You are to blame. For Victoria's and Bracciano's romance. This is true because it aids our family. Look at those stupid ambassadors. Act 3, scene 2, at court. I shall sit on the floor. Domine, Julius, Convertus, Oculus, and Hank Preston, Millennium, Costumes, and Mizzabuzz. Why don't you just speak English so everyone can understand you? Fine. Most literated judges, so can I have judgments to the view of this woman? Hang on. What the heck is he talking about? Can't he speak normally? Simple English? Yes, she's right. You're a bit weird. Can you go away, please? <laughs> well. Right, now he's gone, I'm going to charge you instead. I just hate women. They're all so annoyingly bad. Yes, we're charging you with being a whore. Camillo is dead. If you weren't a whore, you would be in mourning. I didn't know of his death. If I did, I would be in mourning. On the night of his death, was Bracciano at your house? Yes, but, uh, but only to help Camillo with his debts. It's true, I was there, but only to help him. No, you were there for lust. I'm leaving, you are offensive, and I dislike you immensely. I didn't do anything about it, though. Look here! I've got a letter that says Bracciano loves you. I didn't do anything about it. <laughs> that doesn't prove anything. Nevertheless. You are a strumpet and are going to be sent away to a house of convertites. Zantri, take her away. Hi, Monticelsco. Hi, Monticelsco. Hi, Marcello. Hi, Flamineo. You're pardoned. I don't think you actually killed Camillo. Yay! Woo! So... Hi, guys! Hi! I can't be upset about Isabella, so instead I'm going to be really angry about Victoria. I can't believe Victoria's done it! <laughs> Where will my dead mother go? Where do the dead go once they die? Well, that's disturbing. Go away, please! Go. Act 3, Scene 3, A Room. I wish I was not Bracciano's slave. He is a climber on the wheel of fortune, just like me. I have returned to Rome. Flamineo, Marcello, let us be friends. You've received a pardon from the Pope. Your sister is a whore. I shall go drink. Rum! Or act one. Act four, scene, th scene one. Revenge of Bracchio and Vittorio.
Victoria. Here, use my black book of murderers. Ah, this book is great. It's fantastic. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. It's amazing. I shall write Victoria a love poem. Um, I need a servant. Quick. Here, take this to Victoria and make sure Brachiano sees it. 